open telegram and search for bot father select the one with verified icon as the rest may not work for you once all set click on start and you'll see a number of commands select the new bot command or you can type it out that's up to you you'll need to give a name to your bot I'm just going to use Aris Telebot next will be the username and it must end with the word bot Once done, you receive all the important information of your bot. Here you would want to take note on your API code since we will be using it later. Don't forget to say thanks to bot father. Alright. Next, let's create a new group in Telegram to receive incoming messages in AppSheet. Type in your group name Next we need to add raw data bot into the group Because the raw data bot will provide us the chat ID for this group We'll need the chat ID later as we go along this tutorial Always look for the one with raw data bot. And once confirmed, let's add the raw data bot into the group. After adding it, it will immediately generate some info for you. The raw data bot now displays chat ID as shown in the screen. Now let's add our bot into the group as well. Search for the name of your bot and select it. Now in AppSheet, all we need to do now is create a bot that triggers back to the telegram. Go to automation and create a new bot. Click create a custom event. And in data change, for this tutorial, I want a notification every time a new project is created. Add a step in the process. You can give it any name that you like and create a custom step. Select the step, select call a webhook, check on the table name, make sure it's the table that you want to refer to. For URL, use the following format. I have provided this in a link description down below and replace it with your bot father API. HTTP verb to post.
now as for the body i have provided the expression that you can use in a link description down below next you will be, you will want to replace the chat id as the one generated in your group now i'm just going to add one column from the data table called tasks to display the name of the tasks all done now and let's save the app now whenever i add a project i will receive a message from the bot with the tasks you can customize further according to your liking i hope you enjoyed this tutorial do like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one take care bye bye